Good morning, Beartooth Bears. Happy Thursday to you. Hey, listen, last night when we had our PLCs and we were wrapping up um, and asked the teachers if they had anything else to share, they shared with me that I skipped Manor 7. I don't know how I did that. So Manor 7, let's do that one today. Manor 7 is that after eating, be responsible for your area and your items. So if you bring a lunch from home and you take a lid off of something where you're, where you're eating, maybe it's just fruit in a bowl, right? And you leave the lid there, I, sometimes that lid gets brought to the office and we hang on to it there. Other times it gets put in the lost and found. Sometimes, honestly, it just gets put in, put in the trash. And it's just by mistake or some other kid grabs it and they just throw it in the trash because they just thought maybe you just, I don't know, maybe it was just garbage. So you got to make sure you're taking your things. And then when it says be responsible for your area, we're also talking about to clean up. So remember, when we're doing this in the lunchroom and some of our grade levels, teachers, if you can help with this, um, and maybe even do this even just today and tomorrow in your classroom, that one is to gather all of your things. So if you have a lunch from home, those little wrappers that come over the straw, they're super skinny, they got that little sticky stuff on them. When those get on the floor, they stick to the floor and we have to bend down and actually like pick them off with our fingernails because even a broom won't get those up. So the little wrappers, um, I mean, even just the top wrapper from a fruit roll up or whatever it might be, all those things you gotta gather, put back in your cold lunch box so when you go over to the garbage, you can just dump it all in. So one is to gather your things. Two means you need to stand up and hold your things outside of the bench. So if I'm sitting right now, the table's in front of me. Once I get up, I'm gonna step back behind so I'm not sitting in the bench area, I'm standing behind the bench, and then I can look under the floor, or look under the table, I'm sorry, at the floor, and see if there's any other trash down there. And your job at the number two part then, after we clean, gather our things and stand up, is when you're looking down there is to grab the things that you see. And I've been getting a lot of kids saying, I didn't eat that. That's not my piece of lettuce. I didn't drop anything. You know what? It's not Miss Karen's. It's not Miss Leslie's. And it's not mine either. But we pick up, pick up hundreds of those things every day. Each of us does. So it's probably, I mean, maybe I need to gather everything on a big plate and show you what that gym looks like when we sweep it up at the end of the day. There, 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 there are so many things on the floor. So it doesn't matter if it's yours, you just do your part and you're responsible for your area where you sat. That's the stuff that you pick up. So please make sure you're picking those things up. And then when we give you a three means you're dismissed and you can go dump your tray, dump your garbage and head outside. And again, that's part of being responsible for your area too or for your things is when you dump things, you need to put them gently in the garbage. And if you've got ketchup or ranch or other case, you don't wave it up here like this to get it all off. You need to put it down inside the garbage can and just tap it against the edges of the garbage can. Not up here. Please not up here. As I'm standing back there for the trays, I've got um, pants that I've had to wash two and three times because I got ranch on them. Somebody's flipped ketchup on my clothes. You guys, it needs to go down in the garbage and you gently wave it off at, um, and kind of try to get that stuff off. And you're not gonna get it all. You're just gonna get the big glob of it. That's it, and you're good. It will stack just fine with all the things. So after you're eating, be responsible for your area and your items. Don't forget your things and leave them behind. When we get to be wintertime, that's gonna be beanies, gloves, coats, all the things you bring. You're responsible for those things, so please make sure you gather them. Have an awesome day today. I will see you in the lunchroom, and let's work on that, number one, number two, and number three, so we can be responsible for our area and our items. Thanks, everybody.